passing. Okay, uh, like I said, it's getting really popular. Uh, and people have done it for years, but they're getting more of a system to it. And just there's some standout people really doing it now, so it's getting really popular. Um, and it's effective. Uh, generally, they, they say never put your hands on the mat, you know, especially when you're trying to pass the car. But in this scenario where our weight distribution is, it's actually effective, okay? So how we pummel our arms when we're going for like lateral drops and over and unders, same thing. You pummel for grips, stamp, we're pummeling our legs just like we would our grips, okay? So what we do here is this first one is more of just a, uh, a quick little hip bump. Um, I learned this a long time ago. This isn't quite weaving. This is just using momentum, but it is an option you have. Um, when he goes to lift and elevate here, okay, I'm going to anticipate that. And before I get all the way up, I'm just going to bump my hip over. Okay, especially if I've got like, this works really well too if you have like one leg in the middle. You're going for like a knee cut, but he centered you up. And he's got this knee shield kind of like right here. And I can't really feel like I can, can't cut through, um, but he's not quite got me elevated in butterfly. Okay, so one option we have here is, is I'm just going to take my legs and bump my hips over here and come up. This isn't the most technical way to pass the guard, though. This is kind of a little bit of athleticism. And you just got to bump the leg. We're here. We're in the center. He's got this knee shield up here. I'm there. If I get an underhook, great. I can even tap the leg if I want. Both hands on the mat, though. It's probably the more stable here. And come around. Okay? I just wanted to throw that in at first as a quick option. If you get stuck there, okay? So, going into the actual um, floating passes here. He's like double wonders, he's elevated, and he's got me up here. He's got my weight up off the ground. Okay, now, if I stay back like this, if my legs are back here, this isn't gonna work. I can't pummel anything. His legs are not available, okay? I mean, I can probably settle back down, and then I'm trying to like get pressure, but that's not what I'm going for. I actually have to let him kind of get me up here. Okay? Now, this is where I don't want him to drop into leg lock entrance. Okay? If I just stay like this, it's not good. Okay? So, when I come in, he enters into this here. Okay? If I can get, I want to get one leg in. I need one leg here, like stable for sure. Especially if I'm entering. Most of the time, I want to try to enter with one leg in anyway. Okay, I'm not just going to come in very square. I want to get this leg in if possible. He's still going to elevate, and I get this one. This hook's already kind of here. Okay, I can at least drive with it a little bit. Okay, but I'm still elevated. Okay, now I'm here. I'm going to take this foot, and this is what this is the game changer move. When you get this and you weave it here. Okay, now see how I've got inside space on both legs. Okay, so now that's inside space, I get to dictate which way I'm gonna go. I'm gonna show y'all multiple options here to do on this, okay? I can do just like I did before, where I went this way. I'm gonna just open this hip up, like I'm doing this, I'm back stepping. Now, I'm not just gonna whip around. This foot steers his hips over, this way, there, okay? Now, I'm just for this, I'm just gonna come around behind, okay? That's gonna be a quick, easy right behind. And later, we're gonna to cut to the other side, okay? So I come in, I'm entering his guard, and this is what's giving me trouble. If he just lets me push it over, great, I'll just cut right through. But a lot of people are keeping this like center mass here like this, okay? So he's elevated up here, keeping this foot to the inside, boom, come over top, okay? For this one, I guide my hips, this leg, I open my hip, then I can step him back and just push it across here. I can even come to here. Depend it's all going to be circumstantial to how crazy he goes as you're coming over. Okay, but see I'm pummeling that shin on, and then you can steer, okay? He elevates, boom, up, there, boom, here. There was one match Gordon Ryan did that. He actually ended up like coming down on the guy's face almost, and then spun around because the guy tried to invert. Whatever happens, happens, you got her in the legs. Okay, hands are down. I gotta make sure I'm over enough to get this hook in. Okay, if I'm way back and I can't get it, I'm just gonna have to try to hip switch or settle back down. I wanna get this here, okay? I'm engaged with both feet. Okay, this is gonna be very important for something we're gonna do a little later, okay? This time what we're gonna do is also have a good base here, okay? If my hands are straight like this, it's kinda hard to... Now, I got my shoulders engaged, hands out, okay? 
What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just do a windshield wiper. I'm going to pull my legs. Okay, I'm going to turn my hip this way, like I'm trying to go here. This leg comes over. Okay, and I'm going to take the place of my leg here. Okay, it's got to be quick. Boom, there. And I come over. Okay, once again, it's not some simple movement, not something you do every day. We're teaching our legs to do what our hands are used to doing. Got the shield. Boom, I go up. Boom, here. There. Good base. I gotta use my legs now. Just look, I can steer him with my legs. Boom, there, over, here. If he recomposes his guard here, if he hits out here, boom. I'm past the legs. Okay, in, engage, up, then. Bring the hips this way and switch. I can even come here and go straight for the leg if you're into that kind of thing, okay? Just what you're into, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. Questions? Now, I'm going to take everything this way, okay? I'm going to go right into a knee slice, okay? When I do this, though, what is essential on this is that my right hand is going to have to get an underhook when I get switched, or I'm going to give up like a back take. When I go this way and cut across to the knee slice, this hand has got to dig under, right over the side. Okay, if I can, I want to try to hook. Your feet are going to be going all kinds of ways when you're doing this. Pummel, pummel. He's going to be pummeling, you're going to be pummeling. Especially if you get with someone who knows all this. I want you to hook here and get this leg extended as much as possible, okay? Not yours, theirs. Here. Okay, now I've got that easy knee slice pass. Here, we go up, we coast, we pummel, we take it all that way. This way. And then right here, if you miss the underhook, here. Okay, this is what you got to look out for. This is when it's good. If you're decent at leg blocks, because I can step back and go right into here, and that doesn't matter as much. Okay, you just act like you're trying to do that instead. Okay, <laughs> don't act like you missed your underfoot. I'll come in, elevate here, swim, bring it over, boom, here. You come on through, come on through. The thing is, though, on all these passes, I have to go from floating, loosely passing, to getting really close and tight. Okay, if you stay loose, if I pass and I stay like this, he's going to get his guard back. This isn't enough. I've got to get boom, tight and close it all off. Okay, this is the whole purpose is close the distance and control it. Okay, even if I'm back here a little bit, so I can't man go for like a knee slice and he's just got this shield here. Okay, and I've tried to just push it over and I can't. Okay, here, there. See, I'm not way loaded on this one. I don't have to be. I'm going to push myself this way. Boom, right there. I like to get my head under Kesa Katami. You can work from Kesa if you want. This is actually Kazura Kesa Katami with the arm. Switch my hips. More detail on that. Ben asked a good question. Is whenever you go to do this one here, you go to that knee cut, okay? And you go to here. When you go across, if you miss that underhook, another option you have, you go here, he, he gets the underhook, automatically grab the back of the head, elbow goes into the armpit. That's enough to stop him from coming up this way. Try to control this arm too, if possible. And then we're more of a standard kiss of position here, okay? And you can do some really good stuff here, guys. You, know, you can finish matches here. Uh, shoulder locks, compression chokes, all kinds of stuff. Now, for this one, I want to really flare my toes out here. I've got control of Steven here, okay? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna extend this out. I'm gonna use this to extend his leg. When I do, and I went and I'm switch blade my legs in quick. Okay, I'm just kind of like doing like a frog, like, like a frog swimming in the water. Okay, that's what my legs are doing. Okay, I come in here, he's up, he's up here. I extend there and come down. Okay, here I can drop in to this side. Okay, here and drop in like a back step and come around. There's so many different options of weaving your feet back and forth. If they come in straight butterfly guard, they get really good doubles here. They've got me up like this. There's where I want to go first, and here. Boom, okay? But, if it's someone who I know is really good at leg locks, and I'm not totally confident with this yet, okay? This, I've done this, I've, I've rolled with some guys cross training, who I know they got some really good heel hooks. So, here, I'm coming in, they get their double one. As soon as they elevate you here, I'm clamping everything together. Lock it down here. Knees, 
everything. Ankles, it's all close. You can cross your feet. I don't just push mine together. Okay? I've got this as steer weight. All I've done at this point, I can't pummel here really because I'm keeping it so close because I don't want to drop in for the leg. All I'm going to do is steer. And he's going to try to go one way or the other too. Try to get a leg. Maybe I'm going to switch my hips. Come over. Okay? It's not as good as the pummel as keeping you really safe. Okay? Because if I open him, here I open him, he can drop in here. And now my leg is entangled. Yes. Okay? So uh, for Steven, if he's trying to just get into the single leg X, mm -hmm. um, can you show that one more time and just like what? Yeah, so if, I, if I'm doing the single leg X here, I pull Steven in, I get him loaded up. Here, boom, there. Okay, so you're just shooting the. I'm shooting, knee through. shooting this, th I'm grabbing, shooting this through, coming around to here. Okay. Okay? Did I kick you? Yeah, my own balls. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I've done the outtakes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Any other questions on that? Oh, sorry, man. That's all good. <laughs> <laughs>